A ballpark on Grand Rapids West Side is getting a patriotic touch-up just in time for the 4th of July. News 8's Ruben Juarez joins us with this story. Ruben. Brian and Sue, Sullivan Field, formerly known as Valley Field, has been around since the 1930s. Fans of Valley Field, an organization that works to preserve the field, hosting a ceremony rededicating the field's American flag. With a proper ceremony, the fans and players at Sullivan taking a glance at Old Glory raised once again at the historic ball field. The flag was a fixture on center field, but over the years, as the field's dimensions were shortened, the area around the flagpole... It's been overgrown. They put up that short fence, and that flag post is behind that fence, and I think the trees kind of over, uh, were overgrown and obscured that flag, and then they just kind of forgot about it. Pioneer Construction donated a lift truck so the pole could be restored. Volunteers cleared up brush around the base of the flag where you can see a plaque of the original dedication in 1945. Members from the American Legion Post 1111 and 459 donated the new flag and took part in today's ceremony. Well, that flag meant a lot to those that fought for this country and died for this country, and that flag was always there. The field has a lot of history. The Kansas City Monarchs came here to play from time to time with Satchel Page. Al Kaline pitched here at one time. Kirk Gibson played here. Mickey Stanley played here. Fans of the historic ball field hope this new flag is just one of many updates at Sullivan. DeVries says that there's been talks to convert the field's playing surface to artificial turf, a move that would open the door for tournaments to be played at Sullivan. Reporting in the newsroom, Ruben Juarez, News 8.